We're in the Fates Motel because, I don't know, it just kind of seemed like a fun thing to do. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember if there's an easier way to get up here to this. But I do recall that there is something up here. And it's just a matter of uh, getting our ourselves up into the ceiling. So let's do that. Although maybe it's not over here. I forget where it is. I'd have to go turn the corner. It's funny, I didn't even think about this until I just looked up and saw the grate and I went, oh, that's right, there's something in the ducting. Ah, it's right here in this room, okay. Well, just the same, we'll go ahead and open this box because we tracked it down. Ooh, basics of electricity schematic. All right, generator bank, ceiling lights, and relays. Excellent, and there were two copies of it, apparently, because we could have gotten another. That's kind of hilarious. All right, well, we're going to backtrack to where we jumped up into the ceiling, and then we're going to go drop back into the room, and we are going... Actually, I mean, I guess technically... Well, here, we'll do it this way, because it's going to be a pain in the butt otherwise. Oh, you guys have injured the frame. What did the frame ever do to you? You... You zombies are just so zombie-like, and you zombieing it up and stuff. Very obnoxious. Ah, uh, bonk. Alright, well, let's pick up that one. That'll break that guy. And then before I forget, let's make a bunch of these because we are always using frames. And then we can carry on through into the other bathroom. So we're going across the way, basically, into another area. And now we're going subterranean. So there's some caskets down here. Now, do remember, we did find the book that lets us harvest these for potentially gems and stuff. So just in the interest of being a completely awful person, let's go ahead and see if we can harvest anything out of these. I mean, there are no bodies in, in any of them, right? If there's not one in, in that one, there's not any in here. Surely that must be the case. All right, no gems or anything. It was worth a shot. I figured, you know, why not? Give it a whirl. See what happens. Come on, Steve. Oh. What's that from? That's from uh, Def Leppard song. Come on, Steve. Forget which one it is now. Um... Oh, dude. Well played. I did not even see you. My eyes went to this guy. Well, well played. I fell into that trap. Got me hook, line, and sinker, as the saying goes. That's actually trash. Uh, good trash. Good stuff in both of the... Actually, all three of the trashes. Money, not so much. Who kind of cares about that? I mean, yes, we can sell it, obviously, but... The sand is one of those things that it's a, a thing you need late game. Just oodles and oodles of it. Dang. All right, well, we can't make those, so carry on. I mean, we already have the book, but we can't make them. We need some other things first. Oh, you know what I didn't think to do? There's probably a mod I should install that... Makes crucibles a little less obnoxious to find. One of those things, I'm not a big fan of how hard it is to find a crucible in this version of the game. There we go. Oh, dang it, you're still alive. All right, well. I thought we had done a clean sweep here with the bow. Well, more or less with the bow. Guess not. That's fine. We'll keep on uh, smashing and bashing and... It'll all work out just fine, right? Not sure which direction to go. A little nice archery range here. I think we're still working on our scrap arrows, interestingly enough. That one, I think that arrow broke. And that one did not, so let's get that arrow back. Wow, look at you, buddy. And for this last arrow, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I need to crouch a little bit. 
Oh, it broke. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. Never mind. Eh. I think that's... That's eh, not a very good shot is what that is. We'll go ahead and switch to iron arrows now. I'm ready to do that. And we'll just scoop up a few materials out here. Because there's definitely some stuff to get. And then we do have a box to check right here. So let's do that. We'll check the shotgun messiah box. Okay, perfect. And we'll grab these stones right here too. Ah, interesting. So we got a... Was that a... Okay. My cat made a, a noise or a sound. I think I felt more than anything. I think she was just kind of yawning and stretching. I thought maybe she was growling because we, we had ourselves a little bit of a, a thing the other day. But no, we're, we're good. This is oil shale, if I remember right. Yeah, no, coal. Duh, coal. I know that. That looks nothing like shale. Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. Carry on. We'll be fine. Uh, let's go to... Oh, interesting. This doesn't connect the way I thought it does. I think because I've never gone through this in the way you're supposed to. Or something. Oh, no, it goes right there. Okay, got it. Now, before we go up, just I want to take a moment to look at this guy just to compare. So, same damage as the regular thing, but more damage than the... Or more uh, velocity than the... Um, not what I wanted to do. Oh, I can't scrap it, apparently. More velocity than the standard primitive bow. Okay. I mean, we don't need that right now. It, it's fine. I was just... Thought maybe we could uh, get some use out of it or something. Get a little bit of wood for it, but... I might not have made them scrappable. I don't honestly remember. Probably don't need to be collecting all this cloth. We have, like, at least 500 back at the base, I'm pretty sure. If not, it's close enough. I hear you. How you doing? There we go. How you doing over there? Not well, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't sit well with him. Okay. Well, if he didn't want to be blown up, he shouldn't have been standing next to a mine. I mean, maybe he didn't know it was a landmine, because it just looks like a candy tin or something, but, you know, whatever. That's what 17,000 years of playing this game gets you. A lot of experience. A lot of experience. How you doing, sir? How you doing over there? You all right? Oh, I totally whiffed on that one. Can we get that arrow back? I don't see where it went. I, I kind of missed where it went. Okay. It's fine. Click the wood. We'll check this trash because we've had pretty good luck with the trash in this EOI so far. Hi. Okay. I guess no one else is coming, so let's go and get rid of the chairs here. Um, I think just in the interest of having stamina, sure, something, I don't know, whatever. Go ahead and drink some coffee. That'll be fine. Door's been busted open, so we can now get out that way if we want. And then we can start making our way around the rest of the POI at this point. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I did, uh, that was, that was me. I didn't mean to let go at that point. I wasn't ready just yet, but I, finger slipped, I knew, knew. Okay, so I know there's more to this POI, and that's upstairs, so there we will go. We'll check in here first, because this is not the way to go. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we already got the Strap Iron Spear, schem spear Schematic, I think because we invested in spears, even though we're not using one. And there's the battery bank schematic. That's a good one. Yep, I could see you sitting in the corner over there. These iron arrows combined with uh, this relatively new bow doing a really good job of handling the zombies out of here. Now, if we were in a POI that had uh, 
a higher like a higher tiered POI or even just in a biome that was essentially higher tiered. I know biomes are not necessarily strictly tiered per se. But I think we'd be facing some tougher zombies and maybe we wouldn't be just trashing them with the bow, but then again, I don't know, it's nothing special. It's just a quality three bow with some iron arrows. But it's also early day. Early days. Low game stage, so this, the game's not throwing us the big, big zombies just yet. I am looking forward to that, though. I'm very curious to see how Romero mod does that. I mean, we've, we've already seen a, a feral white, so it's not like we haven't seen anything dangerous. That's that's not the case at all, but... Ah, uh, buddy. Y'all are infuriating. But I am very curious to see what the game's going to throw at us, because this, this mod likes to give you lots of zombies to play with. Which, you know... That's half the reason I play the game, really. I just like shooting zombies. That's why I have a history of playing Left for Dead, Back for Blood. Uh, I guess, sort of, Dead Space counts? I don't know, whatever. Resident Evil, of course. It's funny, I got, um, during one of the last Steam sales, I did get Resident Evil 3. And I just have not gotten around to playing it yet. That's one of the games that I played the crap out of back in the day. I played me a lot of Resident Evil 3. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that game. Not saying it was the best one, but I just really enjoyed it for whatever reason it clicked. I think maybe I might have liked the second one more. I don't remember at this point. It's been so long. But uh, the third one was just a lot of fun. It was really fun running around with the Gatling gun. Just spraying bullets at everyone because I think it was infinite. Like once you'd gone through the game, there was something you had to do to get it. And then I think it had infinite rounds, which was just amazing. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and take that because that's an upgrade for us. And we can take these things off of there. Let's go ahead and wear that so we can switch out to here, modify that. And I want to put that die in. I like that a little better. And then wear that. Scrap that. And then we'll go ahead and keep the die for a later day. Now, the zombies are wanting to go through that door, but that's obviously not the way to go. Ooh, retracting stock schematic. That's good stuff right there. I mean, at some point we might end up, you know, wanting how to use one of those things. If not, you know, make one and put it on a gun to sell it or something. I don't know, whatever. Wanted to make sure that we were okay here before we stopped to gather some materials, because, you know, got to replenish all those stones we used on the base. And we're definitely going to need want, etc. more later on, so... You know, gotta stop and collect this stuff. Gotta be a responsible survivor. Which is why I don't collect lead. Actually, it has nothing to do with that. Just don't need it. Don't need lead. I forget, did we take a night quest? I know we have a quest. Okay, we did not. I was thinking maybe we had taken a night quest, but that does not appear to be the case. So there's no one in here, really? Fascinating. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, prep this area for, for scavenging. So I guess we'll just start over here. We'll kind of make our way to the right. Advanced Bellow Schematic, that's a good one. And I will not say no to additional tires. Of course, we already had the, uh, the wrench schematic or whatever that was. Mechanical parts, excellent. We already have the pressure plate schematic. Hmm. Those are useless, basically. No one likes those. Take that. And we'll check over here. And I guess we'll take all those things. I will sneeze a couple of times, and we'll put uh, one of these guys here, and one of these guys right there, all triggered and ready to go, and then we'll check the sink while we're waiting. Pop, pop. 
And we'll collect some iron and some cloth fragments because things exploded. Exploded? Exploded. That's with the T, not a D. Uh, just looking at what we have here, we... Hmm. We really don't have room for anything. I mean, we can always drop stuff, scrap stuff, whatever. Oh, my goodness. That's what I wanted to find. Okay, I need to figure this one out. That's, like, one of my favorite things ever. Let's go ahead and eat the can of tuna. And we'll eat the bacon and eggs. And we'll drink this water. And just like that, we have three inventory slots for three items. Two of which we don't care about. Only one we do. One we care greatly. So let's go downstairs. Oh, hi, how you doing? Get out of this place. Buddy. I mean, this is going to be one of those things where I'm just going to kind of run with this and we're going to do what we're going to do. Oh, it is. It is Horde 30, I think. I want to get out of this spot for the moment just because we are so burdened right now. We are so overburdened. I'm just kind of dropping a bunch of things in there. Zoom! All right, we're still encumbered, but I can work with this. You are shiny McShiny eyes, aren't you? Oh, how did that one miss? Okay. Get rid of her. I think she's still alive, but the arrow broke when it hit her. I totally whiffed on that. Nope, she is dead. Oh, hi, how you doing? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, that did hit him. Never mind. Oh, that was a terrible shot right there. Oh, my gosh. All right, you are annoying. I'm not used to... I guess I'm not used to headshotting crawlers as much with the bow. I don't know. I mean, I should be, but I guess I'm not. There you go. Put that guy on the ground per minute. Oh, man, I have no aim. Wow, I don't even know how that one missed. Okay. Almost looked like he had one arrow in each eye. Sucks to be that guy. Also, sucks to be me because I have no aim and I keep getting hit. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, feral bow? That one did hit him. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and bash him for the win there. And then this guy over here. Bo and Joe and... I remember, I thought there was a Mo in there. Come on, Marlene. And then... Tourist guy. I mean, I figure... Part of the fun of this mod is that you get these big wandering hordes, so... If we don't deal with them, we're, in a way, kind of missing out on some of the fun of the mod, but in more practical terms. It's a lot of experience, so... You know, why not? We don't have feathers right now, or we could turn those into arrows. I'm surprised we don't have feathers. I think we finally stopped carrying them everywhere. Had so many of the stinking things, it was just kind of like... Finally put them away. Called it good. Probably shouldn't be trashing those... Those nails, but we can always make some more. I think that's probably good enough on the storage end of things right there. We've tidied up. Now, let's uh, take care of some business. Where are we? 3,000 west and 13 south. I have no idea where that is on the map, but I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet on this one. And we're going to read this. If you found this, then don't stop. Keep going. Find what I left behind. And... I don't see it right in this immediate vicinity, which is good. And we put that on the map earlier. That's O-ish. So it's going to be up to the north. A thousand north. Um, we'll have to see how that works out. That's one of the quests from Ranger Mod. There's basically, it's going to be a... Uh, I'll just spoil it for you right now. Uh, there's going to be some stuff that we can get at the end of it. There you go. I spoiled it for you. No, it's a, it's a quest from the mod, and like anything else in this game, there is some dependency on hi, loot stage and all that jazz. So, you know, 
it's one of those things where I would rather have that quest be in a wasteland or something along those lines than in this area we're in right now because much higher loot stage, better chance of finding good stuff. Uh, you know, it is what it is. That's just kind of the way the game works. For the time being, I think we can call that pretty good. That was fun. I really enjoyed going through the, the bait, the baits, I'm sorry, the Fates Hotel. That one's a lot of fun. That's just a, it's a really cool POI. I don't know if it's a, I guess it's a tier three. I don't think it's a tier four. Pretty sure it's a tier three, but it's just, it's a really fun POI. It's really well thought out. It's really well designed. I just, I love that you start in the motel and then you go, you end up in the house and all that. And you just, there's weird stuff going on, but it's not necessarily like the super crazy weird stuff that you find half the time in various houses in this game. It's a little tamer than that, and then obviously, you know, baits, baits, etc. There's that tie-in as well. Hey, look at that, we got a honey. And Demon did it on camera, amazing. Perfect. That is really, really good right there. Very happy to get another one. I think that gives us three, so... We are in a pretty good spot insofar as getting infected and being able to deal with it is concerned. But for right now, I think what I want to do is call this an episode. I feel like we've done good work today. Maybe we'll go do that uh, quest that's kind of off to the northwest a little bit. I was debating maybe just dropping off stuff first, just so we can kind of have a, a really nice clean start to the next episode and not have full inventory and all that sort of jazz. There's a bear right there, which would give us a lot of meat. Um, yeah, I don't feel like dealing with a bear right now. I just don't, I'm sorry. Nothing against the bear, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. I think we've done good work. I'd like to go drop off everything and then we will pick up on the next one. Whether we're going to start with that quest or end with that quest or not do that quest at all. I suppose there's the option of have the quest in the middle. I don't know just yet. We'll figure that one out on the next one. Catch you that one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.